welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is jasmine and in today's tutorial i am going to guide you on how to make the shorts that you saw in the beginning of the video for the materials i am going to use this yarn it's called ye ye yarn made in nigeria and as you can see the strand is thin so i am going to double the strand so that i can achieve a thickness that is close to a size three yarn and then i am going to use a four millimeter hook but you can use whatever yarn and hook size that you like because i will be working with measurements okay for the color pattern, I am going to use four different colors. I'm going to use royal blue, orange, golden yellow, and white. And then for the color pattern that you saw in the picture, I, am, I used white, yellow, lilac, and mint green. And I'm just going to work two colors, sorry, two rows of each colors, okay? so let's get started shall we to get started make a slip knot and then chain five one two three four five then slip stitch in the first chain that you made like so to get started with row one chain four one two three four this chain four counts as double crochet chain one then place three double crochet in the ring one two and three like so then chain two one two place another three double crochet into the ring one two and three chain two one two place three more double crochet into the ring one two three chain two one two place three more double crochet into the ring one two and three so for the shorts we need three corners so we have this is our first corner the chain two spaces are the corners this is the first corner this is the second corner and this is the third corner and you should have four groups of three double crochet so let's count together this is the first group one two three that's one and then we have the second group two we have the third three and four okay so after you've had your four groups of three double crochet you are going to chain one and then place a last double crochet into the ring so just one double crochet into the ring so we always start and end the same way remember we started with chain four which counted as double crochet chain one and also we are ending with double crochet chain one Do you get okay to get started with row two chain three one two three and this chain three counts as a double crochet stitch then turn your work place a double crochet in the first chain one space like so then chain one and next we are going to work a shell stitch into the first chain two space what is a shell stitch a shell stitch is three double crochet chain two three double crochet okay so work three double crochet into the first chain two space 
that's one, two, and three, okay? And then chain two, one, two, place another three double crochet into the same chain two space. One, two, and three. Perfect. So we have our first shell stitch. When you're done with the first shell stitch, chain one. And in the next chain two space, we are going to work another shell stitch. So three double crochet. Chain two, one, two, and another three double crochet in the same chain two space. Okay, so now we've worked our second shell stitch. After that, chain one and place another shell stitch in the last chain two space. All right, perfect. Here I am. I have my first, okay. I have one, two, three, three shell stitches. And then we have chain one spaces between the shell stitches. When you are done with your last shell stitch, you're going to chain one. And in this last chain one space, please don't miss it. Remember in the previous row, which is row one, we started with chain four, which counted as double crochet chain one. So there's always a chain one space here, okay? So in that last chain one space, we are going to work two double crochet. So one and two. Remember, I said we always end the same way we started. So we have two double crochets here and we are going to end with two double crochets. Okay, so now after this, I am going to change colors. To change colors, all I do is chain one and fasten off. And please excuse the noise, that's my neighbor, I can't help it. <laughs> so when you fasten off, you just pull tight, okay, and then you bring in your second color. All right, so I have my second color, which is orange. To attach the second color, I'm going to insert hook in the last stitch I worked and just pull through the color and make a knot to secure it. Like so. To start off row three, we are going to chain four. One, two, three, four turn your work and in the first chain one space we are going to place two double crochet one and two chain one in the first corner remember the chain two spaces of the shell stitches are called corners okay in the first corner, we are going to work a shell stitch. So three double crochet. Chain two, one, two, and three double crochet all in the same corner. There you go then chain one in the next chain one space we are going to place two double crochet one and two chain one in the next corner we are going to place a shell stitch
So now it's pretty repetitive. All you have to do is chain one, two double crochet in the next chain one space, chain one, shell stitch in the next corner. Okay, then chain one, two double crochet in the last chain one space. So do that and I will be back. So here we are. This is what your work should look like. Okay, so pretty. <laughs> All right, so after your last two double crochet, you're going to chain one and place a double crochet in the last stitch. So skip this and place a double crochet in the last stitch. Like so, okay? So for row four, we are going to start off with a chain three. One, two, three. And turn your work. Place a double crochet in the first chain one space. Chain one. Place two double crochet in the next chain one space. like so and then chain one place a shell stitch in the next corner like that and then chain one Place two double crochet in the next chain one space. One and two. Chain one. Place two double crochet in the next chain one space. One and two. Okay? You should be able to get the pattern now. So basically all we are going to do is chain one, shell stitch in the next corner, chain one, two double crochet in the next chain one space, chain one, two double crochet in the next chain one space, chain one, shell stitch in the next corner, chain one, two double crochet in the next chain one space. And then when we get here, I will help you complete the row, okay? All right, so here I am. I have worked two double crochets in every chain one spaces, as you can see, and I have worked a shell stitch in every corner. And then when you're here to finish off, you're going to chain one and place two double crochet in the last chain one space. One and two. Next, I am going to change color. So I will chain one and fasten off. I have my third color, right? And I am going to work two more rows with you. And you are going to do the rest of the rows on your own. It's pretty simple. As you can see, the only thing I have to explain is how to start the rows we have two ways okay for this pattern you start it two ways so let's start with the first way to start off your row you're going to attach yarn in just attach your new yarn <laughs> to start off row five which is an odd number row so for every odd number row we are going to start it this way okay chain four one two three four turn your work place two double crochet in the first chain one space one and two okay so this is how we start every odd number row chain four two double crochet in the first chain one space that's it so now we are just going to continue the repetitive pattern which is chain one two double crochet in the next chain one space and then when you get to a corner you're going to chain one and place a shell stitch in that corner
all right so we are done with our first shell stitch now we are going to chain one and place two double crochet in the next chain one space okay and then chain one two double crochet chain one two double crochet chain one shell stitch chain one two double crochet chain one two double crochet chain one two double crochet chain one shell stitch in the corner chain one two double crochet chain one two double crochet in the last chain one space and then i will show you how to end row five all right so here we are let's show you what it looks like two double crochet in every chain one spaces shell stitch in every corner very simple yes so in order for you to know how to end your row so this is an odd number row. remember all you have to do is take a look at how you started just you know if you're confused go back to see how you started you started with a chain four right which counted as double crochet chain one so all you have to do is end with a chain one skip the next stitch and double crochet in the last stitch perfect so i have shown you how to start and end an odd number row now let's work row six this is how you're going to start every even number row okay you start with a chain three one two three turn your work and in the first chain one space you're going to place just one double crochet like so yes do you see the pattern two here two here two here that's every even number row okay after that you're going to chain one and just continue the repetitive pattern which is chain one two double crochet in the next chain one space chain one two double crochet in the next chain one space like so and then chain one shell stitch in the corner chain one two double crochet chain one two double crochet chain one, da, 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 da. <laughs> you get the gist don't you <laughs> okay so just continue that all the way until you get to your last um, until you get here to this chain one space not here here okay and then i will show you how to end all right here we are i have worked all my stitches looking nice and neat and pretty and colorful <laughs> so how do we end an even number row all you have to do is go back and check how you started you started with a stitch and a stitch so two double crochets okay then you have a chain one so all you have to do is chain one place two double crochet in that last chain one space like so perfect so now you are going to um, fasten off and attach your fourth color and when you're done with your fourth color you go back when you're done with two rows of your fourth color you go back and start from the first color so two rows two rows two rows until you get to your desired uh, row count or row number so you're gonna continue a repeat of those two rows until when you keep your work like this when you measure from one side to the other side of those two corners like this when you measure like this and you stretch it just a bit it's gonna stretch to half of your hip size okay so like this one this is a size small i made let me check i made 13 rows for a size small and normally a size small hip size is between 35 and 37 i like to use 36 which is right there in the middle okay so half of 36 is 18 right so i measured from here to here and it gives me about 15.5 right and if i stretch it just a bit like this boom it stretches easily to 18. so i am going to continue this tutorial using this color pattern instead of the other one so at this point you should have your desired number of rows 
as I said, I was going to work 13 rows for a size small. I recommended 12 rows for an extra small, 14 rows for a medium, 15 for a large, and so on and so forth. Okay, but to be very sure, all you have to do is measure from here to here and stretch it and make sure that it stretches to half of your hip size. Okay, so when you are done with your first panel, you're going to chain one, you're going to chain one, and then you fasten off. like so okay and then you are going to repeat the exact thing everything right from the starting chains repeat everything until you have the same number of rows for your size and then you come back and we will join the sides together attach the crotch and work the leg hole okay so here we are two equal panels when you're done with your second panel, you're going to chain one and then turn your work. Then you are going to bring the first panel and make sure that all the stitches on the sides are aligned like so. Okay, it's aligned and also make sure that here is aligned as well. Okay, when you've done that, come back and single crochet the opposite stitches together. Or if you're using a tapestry needle, all you have to do is sew the opposite stitches and chains together. Like so, okay? Yeah, that's it. So you're going to continue that single crocheting the stitches and the spaces together until you get to the first corner right here. So here I am. I have single crocheted my stitches and spaces together and I have the corner left, okay? So you're just going to place a single crochet into the two corners and just single crochet everything together. Like, oof like so and then chain one and fasten off i had already fastened off only to realize that i wasn't recording <laughs> so i had to come back but yeah when you're done chain one and fasten off here we are so when you're done with one side you're going to turn to the other side and attach your yarn in the first stitch single crochet the opposite stitches and spaces together until you get to the corner and then single crochet the corners together and then chain one and fasten off i am done with my stitching i have stitched the sides together okay so next up we are going to work the crotch area so that we can work the leg hole okay so turn your work inside out the side with the seams will be on the inside so turn it inside out like so in order to know what color to use next, remember we are working two colors, two rows of each color. So I worked one row of lilac. That means my next row will start off with lilac. So if you had worked two rows of the color here, that means your next row will start off with the following color. Do you get what I'm trying to say? <laughs> okay, the crotch area. To work the crotch area, we are going to attach yarn right here in the inverted, in the, should I say the peak of the V? So right here, bring it up and attach your yarn right in that corner. When you've attached your yarn, you are going to chain one for the crotch area and then we are going to slip stitch in the opposite corner right here so bring it over and you're going to make your slip stitch from the outside not like this this is the inside so not like this but turn to the outside and make a slip stitch like so okay so this is what we have all right to start the leg hole we are going to chain three one two three and then place a double crochet in the same corner 
like so then chain one place two double crochet in the next chain one space chain one place two double crochet in the next chain one space okay so we are going to repeat chain one two double crochet in the next space chain one two double crochet in the next space repeat that all the way around until you get this is the seam until you get to the corner before the seam on the side so here we are i have worked all my two double crochets and we have the first corner before the seam and the corner after the seam okay so chain one and place two double crochet in that first corner one two and then chain one place two double crochet in the next corner after the seam So now we are just going to repeat chain one two double crochet in the next chain one space yeah chain one two double crochet in the next chain one space chain one two double crochet in the next chain one space repeat that all the way around until you get here until you get to the last space before the corner before the crotch here I am I have worked my chain one two double crochets in all the spaces now I have the corner the last corner left just before the crotch so I'm going to chain one and place two double crochet in that last corner one and two then chain one and slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain three okay so here we are now I have two rows of lilac so I am going to fasten off but let's assume you have one row of your color and you need to work the second row and you do not need to fasten off right all you have to do is slip stitch in the next stitch slip stitch in the next chain one space and then chain three double crochet in the same space then chain one two double crochet in the next space okay and repeat chain one two double crochet in the next space chain one two double crochet in the next space repeat that all the way around until you get to your last space then you chain one and slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain three but for me, I am going to change colors. So I'm just going to fasten off after my slip stitch. There you go. I'm going to chain one and fasten off. To work the next color, which is mint green, I am going to attach a new color in any of the chain one spaces. I'll just do right here. So to work the next row, you're going to attach your new yarn if necessary. Attach a new color in any of the chain one spaces. And just chain three, just like I showed before. Place a double crochet in that same space. Chain one, place two double crochet in the next space okay you're going to repeat chain one two double crochet in the next space chain one two double crochet in the next space all the way around until you get to your last space all right so here i am i have completed this row and now after your last two double crochet you are going to chain one and slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain three like so. so when you're done with this it's pretty repetitive okay 
If you need to change colors, fasten off, attach new color, and chain three, double crochet in the same space. Chain one, two, double crochet in the next space. Continue that all the way around until the last space, then slip stitch, then chain one, slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain three. If you do not need to change colors, all you have to do is slip stitch in the next stitch, slip stitch in the next space, and then chain three, double crochet in the same space, chain one, two, double crochet, chain one, two, double crochet, all the way around until last space, then chain one, slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain three. So you're going to repeat that until you have your desired length. All right, my love, so I have worked until I got my desired length. I worked a total of, starting from the first row of the leg hole, I worked a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a total of seven rows. And as you can see, I opted to finish up my rows with mint green, okay? It's after white, it's supposed to be yellow, but I just wanted to finish up with mint green, okay? So when you've gotten your total rows, we are going to work a last row, which is the border. To work your border row, you are going to slip stitch in the next stitch, slip stitch in the next chain one space, chain one, single crochet in the same space, chain two, one, two, skip one space and in the next space we are going to work a picot shell stitch okay to work that place three double crochet in that space one two and three then to work the picot stitch you are going to chain three one two three slip stitch in the very first chain that you made slip oops slip stitch okay so that is a picot stitch and then to complete the shell stitch we will place three more double crochets in the same space All right, so that is a picot shell stitch. After that, you're going to chain two, one, two. Skip one space. In the next space, make a single crochet. Chain two, one, two. Skip one space. In the next space, work a shell, a picot shell stitch. So three double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Slip stitch in the very first chain. Like so, and then three more double crochet in the same space. Okay. Here is what we have. So that is what we are going to repeat, okay? So after the shell stitch, you're going to chain, chain two, skip one space, single crochet in the next space. So after a shell stitch, chain two, skip one space, single crochet in the next space. And then after a single crochet stitch, you're going to chain two, one, two, skip one space and work a picot shell stitch in the next space here we are you can see the repeat pattern now okay so after the shell stitch chain two skip one space and in the next space single crochet after the single crochet chain two skip one space in the next space picot shell stitch okay Repeat that all the way around until the last space or if you have one space left, that's okay. Just repeat that all the way around. Alright, so here I am. I have worked everything around. 
so i have one space left you could have no space left it just depends on it depends on your size so after these whatever you have here whether it's single crochet or shell stitch all you have to do is chain two and slip stitch in the beginning stitch okay like so then chain one and fasten off and we are done with the first leg hole looking pretty yeah <laughs> okay so now i am going to show you how to start off your second leg hole keeping your work like this laying it like this with the completed leg hole facing your right hand side we are going to attach to work the second leg hole we are going to attach yarn right here on the top corner okay the top one not the bottom one the top one so we are going to attach here and the color you are going to attach should be the same color that you worked your first row of leg hole with so my first row of leg hole was worked with lilac so i am going to attach my lilac color here i am my hook is in my corner i'm going to attach my yarn like so and then i am going to chain three one two three then place a double crochet in the same corner like that then chain one one skip the crotch and in the next corner after the crotch we are going to place two double crochets one two okay then chain one place two double crochet in the next chain one space all right you get the gist now right we've done the side so you should understand what you need to do next all you have to do is chain one two double crochet in the next space chain one two double crochet in the next space continue that all the way around until here then chain one two double crochet in the corner before the seam chain one two double crochet in the corner after the seam chain one two double crochet in the next space continue that all the way around until you resurface over here all right all right so here i am i have worked my stitches and i'm just going to chain one and slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain three okay like that and then chain one fast enough because i have to change colors so at this point you're just going to repeat the same thing you did here you're going to work that over here okay up until the last row and then you fasten off i'm going to work mine later now i have to show you how to do the waistband decide on which color you want to use for your waistband i am going to use this color because i ended with this so i will use this mint green so when you've gotten your yarn you're gonna pick up you're going to go to the waistband come right here to the center of your beginning chain five right here remember that ring yep we're gonna poke our hook right there and pull through our yarn then chain three one two three we are gonna place two double crochet in this first double crochet space okay so these are the spaces here 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 we are placing two double crochets in each spaces in each space like so two double crochet in the next space two double crochet in the next space 
so we are going to continue that all the way across or around when you get to the last space before the seam we are going to skip the seam and continue to place two double crochet two two all the way when you get to the other ring right here you're going to place one double crochet then continue two 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 all the way around until you get to your last space right here all right so here we are i have worked two double crochet in each of my spaces and after the last stitch we are going to slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain three to work our next row chain three and then place a front post double crochet in the next stitch how do you work a front post you go in front like this be is this in front or behind you go in front you go like this into the stitch <laughs> and then you pull through and make a double crochet so that's a front post and then in the next stitch you're going to work a normal double crochet in the next one a front post double crochet In the next one, a normal double crochet. In the next one, a front post double crochet. Look at that beautifulness. <laughs> so you are going to continue that. Normal double crochet, front post double crochet. Normal double crochet, front post double crochet. Continue that all the way around until you get to your last stitch. I have completed row 2 of the waistband okay so when you've worked your last stitch you are going to slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain 3 and then for me I am going to chain 1 and fasten off but if you're like a bigger size like a large extra large XXL and you want it a little bit higher but this is already high waisted mind you but if you want a little bit more of height, then all you have to do is chain three, work a front post in the next front post, work a double crochet in the next normal double crochet stitch, work a front post in the next front post, and then continue that all the way around until your last stitch. And then you slip stitch in the beginning chain three and chain one and fasten off, okay? at this point we are going to attach our waist tie i made a total of 250 chains for my waist tie you can make as many or as less as you want when you've gotten your chains you are going to pick up your work so come to the middle stitch which is the stitch that is right above the ring okay so skip that stitch and all you have to do is insert your hook under every front post double crochet and pull through one end of your yarn like so okay this is a front post you have to try and look at your front post this is a front this is a front this is a front so I'm just going to go under as many as I can and pull through the same end of the tie. There you go. So you're going to continue that all the way around until you resurface right here. Alright, so here is what my shirt looks like so far. I have to go back and complete my second leg hole. Okay, so we are done. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. And as always, I am so full of gratitude for your support. Bye.